Did you know Viagra makes flowers stand up for a week? Or that selfies kill more people than sharks do? Facts like these are all around us. You just need to know where to look. Lucky for you, we've compiled some of the most interesting knowledge from science, medicine, history, and culture. I'm Mike with List25, and join me as we dive into 25 facts that'll make you question everything. 25. Banana flavoring was originally used as a pear flavoring in Britain. You know that banana-y taste from banana flavored candy? Now, it's not quite real, but it's just enough to give you the feeling of a fruit, even if there is a ton of added sugar. That taste comes from a chemical called isoamyl acetate, which comes from ripening fruit. When this was first diluted and used to make sweets, it was used as a pear flavoring in Britain. 24. Viagra makes flowers stand up for a week. If a man is having trouble performing in the bedroom, then there's a little blue pill to fix that. It's called Viagra, and it was a revolution in the 1990s. However, scientists have found that it's not only humans that it works on. If you give some to flowers, it causes them to shoot up straight, just like men do. And it goes even further than that. Just one milligram can give flowers a longer lifespan. I, I, don't, I don't think that's the same effect on humans though, so don't go trying anything. 23. Coffins and caskets are not the same. Shopping for your funeral isn't quite as exciting as buying a new car, but when the time comes, you really should know what your options are. It turns out there's a big difference between a casket and a coffin. While a casket is built with four sides, it's pretty much a standard death box. On the other hand, a coffin is designed to fit a body. It has six sides, often has padding and nicer material inside, and is more expensive. 22. Only males are peacocks. Peacocking has become a word for trying to impress the ladies, and that's pretty accurate. Contrary to popular belief, it's only the males that are called peacocks. The females are called peahens and are much less colorful. The whole point of a peacock popping out their bright colors is to try to attract a mate. If that doesn't get their attention, what will? 21. Water reduces snoring. Ever been stuck trying to sleep next to someone snoring like a freight train? There is nothing worse. Next time though, try giving them some water. Keeping hydrated helps to smooth out the liquid in your nose instead of letting it become too sticky. The friction with this stickiness and the air moving through your nose is one of the things that can make a person snore. 20. The Pinky Promise Careful who you make a pinky promise with, it can leave you with one less finger. The idea comes from the Japanese tradition of yubikiri. In the right context, it does refer to a pinky promise, but the literal translation is actually closer to cutting off a finger. According to legend, if you broke one of these promises, you'd have your finger removed. But what happens if you break more than two? 19. KFC had an embarrassing translation in China. KFC has grown from a small roadside Kentucky chicken shop into a global chain operating in over 100 countries. One of those is China, where KFC ran into a bit of trouble in the language department. When they translated their catchphrase, it's finger licking good for their grand opening in 1987, the Chinese ended up meaning, eat your fingers off, which is a little more extreme. 18. Temperature makes people nicer. If someone's acting a little cold towards you, then give them a warm drink. It sounds almost too good to be true, but science backs it up. An experiment run by Yale researchers showed that people holding a warm drink acted nicer than people holding a cold one. For some reason, with the feeling of a hot mug in your hands, people tend to be more generous towards others. 17. Selfies kill more people than sharks do. Social media has taken over our lives, sometimes literally. Between 2008 and 2021, 379 people died while taking a selfie. That's more than four times the number of people that were killed by sharks. In search of the perfect Insta post, people have fallen off cliffs, crashed while skiing, dropped out of helicopters, and just about any other scenario that you can imagine. Is it really worth it for a few likes? But don't forget to like this, this video. <laughs> 16. Victoria's Secret was made for men. When American businessman Roy Raymond created Victoria's Secret in 1977, he said that he wanted a place for men to shop for their wives. What kind of clothes? Oh, lingerie and sexy underwear, of course. 
The name took inspiration from the Victorian era and was originally decorated like a Victorian boudoir. Things have changed since then, with the brand becoming more targeted directly at women. And its annual fashion show has made it one of the biggest lingerie brands in the world. 15. Most people lean to the right to kiss. A romantic moment can quickly turn awkward if you both lean in the same direction for a kiss. But don't worry, I've got some advice for you. If you go right, chances are you won't bump heads. That's because we are hardwired to go in this direction. It all comes down to how the brain is constantly breaking up tasks. Since the emotional and decision-making parts are in the left hemisphere, it makes a small difference to how chemicals are balanced around the brain. This difference is enough to make your head tilt right when you're leaning in for a kiss. 14. Psychopaths don't see negatives. When you think psychopath, you might imagine a person in a maximum security prison locked up for unspeakable crimes. Or if you're like me, borderlands. However, psychopaths make up about 1% of the population and are much more likely to be successful people in society. That's because a combination of less empathy, high motivation, and more focus makes them perfectly suited to climb the corporate ladder. And they tend to focus on positive outcomes rather than negative, which allows them to better handle pressure. 13. The modern salute came from French knights. Before it was used by militaries all over the world, the modern salute was developed by French knights in the Middle Ages. Given the danger of encountering an enemy, they needed to come up with a way to signal that there was no intention to attack. They would use their right hand to lift their helmet and reveal their face, basically saying, look into my eyes, don't worry about me. It also showed that there was no weapon in their hand. Over time, the movement of the hand became more important than the removing of the helmet. And even though we don't dress up in 50 pounds of metal armor anymore, the salute has survived. 12. 12,000 trees supply toilet paper every day. Ever wonder where toilet paper comes from? Well, just like regular paper, it starts off as trees. And when you start to think about how many people there are in the world, plus the fact that 36 billion rolls of toilet paper are used each year in the US alone, you realize a lot of trees are used in the process. How many? About 27,000 per day are cut down. Maybe it's time for us to get a little fancy and all start using a bidet instead. 11. A woman survived a 56 degree body temperature. When Anna Bogenholm visited Norway in 1999, she never imagined that she would break a world record. For all the wrong reasons. While skiing, she fell through an ice sheet and quickly became trapped. It took almost two hours for rescue teams to find her, and by then, there was very little hope. Her heart had stopped and her internal body temperature was 56.6 degrees Fahrenheit, lower than anyone ever treated before. After being taken to the hospital by helicopter, her heart miraculously started again. She made a full recovery, eventually visiting the hospital that saved her to thank the doctors and nurses, and she even began working there in 2009. 10. Using hands-free devices is as dangerous as drunk driving. It's tempting to check your phone while cruising around in the car, but don't. Distracted driving caused over 3,500 deaths in 2021. What you might not know is that those numbers include using hands-free devices. Research shows that these could be as bad or even more dangerous than drunk driving. Even if your device is hands-free, you're still four times more likely to get into an accident. They take away our attention, and not just our eyesight, but our mental attention, meaning that we can't see hazards as well. Nine, your body produces six cups of mucus every day. I don't wanna scare you off, but let's talk about mucus. It may sound disgusting, but it's vital to how your body functions. It lubricates the insides of the body and stops things from getting into your lungs. Whenever you get a runny nose, it's your body trying to clean itself of any harmful bacteria. That's why the nose and throat make up about six cups of it a day. <laughs> Eight, tree ambulances in Delhi. For trees, the best place to live is probably in Delhi, India. For any tree that's sick or injured, there's a special tree ambulance that responds. It comes stocked with all the medicine a tree could need. Insecticides, pesticides, fungicides, you name it, they've got it. The team working in the ambulance has been trained by the Forest Research Institute to diagnose and treat all kinds of problems. They give a whole new meaning to tree surgeon. Seven, tree bark was used as aspirin. What did people do when there was no store-bought medicine to relieve their pain? 
Well, they turned to natural remedies like the bark of a willow tree. For more than 3,000 years, people have used this like a natural aspirin. It contains the ingredient salicin, which can relieve pain and reduce inflammation. In fact, you can still buy willow bark extracts in health shops today, but they're generally much less effective than aspirin. Six, Stalingrad killed more than Hiroshima and Nagasaki. It's difficult to wrap our heads around just how bloody World War II was. Before the US dropped nuclear bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the Battle of Stalingrad ended with a body count almost 10 times that number. It's viewed as one of the most important battles in defeating Nazi Germany, but it took a huge sacrifice. After more than five months of fighting, an estimated 1.9 million people had died, including more civilians than Hiroshima and Nagasaki combined. Five, a scientist has her taste buds insured for 1 million pounds. How good is your sense of taste? Well, probably nowhere near the level of a woman named Haley Curtis, who works for the British chocolate company Cadbury. Her job is to develop new flavors, which she says involves scientific experiments like testing the melting temperature, plus a lot of tasting. Is that really a job? Well, apparently a bank in England thinks that it is, so much so that they agreed to insure her taste buds for up to 1 million pounds, or about 1.7 million dollars. Four, a water drop wart is highly poisonous. There is nothing funny about a hemlock water drop wart, the most dangerous plant in the United Kingdom. In 2019, a man quickly died when he mistook it for parsley. But what happens after death might be even scarier. Because it affects the way that the body's muscles work, after the person has already died, they're left smiling. Something that's been called a sardonic grin. Three, paracetamol reduces empathy. That's right, the main ingredient used in paracetamol, called acetaminophen, makes you less likely to empathize with other people's pain. One experiment gave it to a group of people and recorded that their own sensitivity to loud noises was reduced, but so was their understanding of how sensitive other people might be. In other words, if we feel better, we quickly forget about people who might be in pain. Two, smells can predict schizophrenia. The most serious symptoms of schizophrenia are hallucinations, paranoia, and difficulty in organizing thoughts. However, it might be possible to detect the early stages of the illness years before these symptoms surface. Research found that people who have a very poor sense of smell develop schizophrenia or other mental illnesses. Scientists have known for decades that smell is related to mental illness, and now it could be used to help diagnose them. 1. More than 90% of survivors of 9-11 stayed to save their work. Sometimes it can feel like work is your entire life, but in the case of an emergency, it should be the last thing on your mind. For hundreds of survivors of the 9-11 attacks, their commitment to the office almost cost them their lives. A survey found that over 90% of survivors didn't evacuate immediately, but instead stayed to save their work and properly shut down their computers. For some people, this meant a delay of around half an hour, at a time when every second counted. So, which of these was your favorite fact? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our social medias, including my personal ones, links in the description below. Now, speaking of facts, did you know that Native American languages were used during World War II so that the Allies could talk in code? Or that Christopher Columbus wasn't the first to discover America? For all that and more, click right here, because I know you guys love facts. Maybe there's two, I don't know. There, we, we had one, we might do two now, we'll see. Future me, we'll, we'll see that. But yeah, click. Either this one big one or these two little ones. I don't know if it's gonna be there yet. But yeah, click them, let's have more fun.